Joan Davis with Jim Backus in My Mary Joan. Man, oh man, what a dinner that, that Helen Cavanaugh made. What a cook she is. I can still taste those barbecued spare ribs. You can still taste them and you call that good cooking? <laughs> and that barbecue sauce, what flavor, nectar, uh, so tasty. I've never eaten anything so good in my life. You know, Joni, that, that, that Helen is a, is a genius when it, when it comes to cooking. Honestly, Brad, I don't know what you're raving about. Helen is just an average cook, and I thought it was a pretty ordinary dinner. Oh, come on, Joan. It was a wonderful dinner. Everybody came back for extra helpings. They were just being polite. Yeah, I was so polite, I thought I'd burst. Do you think Helen's a better cook than I am? No, no, of course not. I mean, you don't think that Helen's spare ribs are better than my Hungarian goulash? Perish the thought, not even close. I wonder how she gets that crunchy outside on those barbecue ribs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What a lucky guy that George Kavanaugh is. If Helen makes meals like that for him, he's going to be fat as a blimp. But it'll be worth it. Huh? I've had all I can stand. Now, oh, Joni. Honestly, ever since we left Helen's house, all the way home in the car, all you've talked about is what a good cook Helen is, what a delicious dinner it was, what a lucky man her husband is. Well, if you think so much of Helen Kavanaugh, why didn't you marry her instead of me? Oh, don't be foolish. I didn't even know Helen when we were married. <laughs> so now you tell me I was second choice. I didn't say... I didn't say that. Honey, come on, let's change the subject. Mm. Mm. All right. Say, it was a wonderful movie we saw last night. Real thriller. Yeah, but I don't think the boy Roger should have gone to jail. Well, how else could it have ended? Well, he could have mailed the money back to the bank and escaped to Mexico. No matter where he went, the police would have smoked him out and grilled him. Smoked and grilled? There you go, thinking of Helen Sparrows again. I didn't say a word about Helen. You didn't have to. Your mind was wide open, and I didn't like what I saw. Oh, don't be absurd. Just because I praised Helen's cooking didn't... Now, I don't hmm? think that I'm the least bit jealous, Brad, because anybody can make a barbecue. And as long as you're so crazy about a barbecue, I'll have one built in the backyard. Okay. Don't try to stop me, and remember, Helen's cost $300. It'd be well worth the money. I knew the money would bother you, but I'm going to have it built anyway. Right, just what we need. I knew that, but... What? what? It's a wonderful idea. Oh. There's no reason we can't have delicious barbecues, too. You're darn right there isn't. All you have to do is ask Helen for a recipe. I'd rather die. <laughs> Honestly, Bev, if it was anybody else, I wouldn't mind, but that Helen Cavanaugh. Brad knows very well that she's my dearest enemy. She didn't used to be. Well, she is now. You should have heard, Brad. It was just sickening. I wonder how she gets that crunchy outside on her sparrows. That George Cavanaugh is a lucky guy. Well, Joni, I guess Brad is just like every other fella. The way to his heart is through his stomach. Maybe so, but I'm certainly going to show that Helen Cavanaugh that she hasn't got the only road map in existence. <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to have a barbecue built in our backyard. I I've already called the company this morning, and they're going to send a man right down. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah, and I've got another idea for you. What's that? Hold still. <laughs> okay, dear. Well, I'll certainly show that Brad who's a better cook, Helen Cavanaugh, or me. Why, I'll roast chicken on my barbecue, beef, pork, ham. If you ask me, what you'd really like to roast is Helen. Yeah. No, she'd turn out too tough anyway. And you should have heard Brad rave about Helen's barbecue sauce. Well, what's sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. And when Brad gets a gander at my sauce, Helen's goose is going to be cooked. Where are you, Brad? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Look, honey, if you don't want to fix my hair, just say so. I'll get it. How do you do? I'm from the Buildwell Barbecue Company. Oh, yes. Won't you come in? Thank you. Would you please tell your mother I'm here? I'm my mother. 
I mean, I'm the lady of the house. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, you certainly fooled me. Oh, well, that's all right. It's a perfectly natural mistake. <laughs> nice man. Uh, uh, won't you sit down? Uh, thank you. Uh, now, about this barbecue you want built. We have special features on ours, which makes it impossible to cook a bad meal. Now, that's just the model that I want. Naturally, you'll want our deluxe model with the automatic grill. Now, here's a beautiful picture of it. Oh, that is nice. Mm, and we have a very attractive offer, only $415. $415? Oh, it's cheap for the peace of mind you'll get. Regardless of your cooking skill, you'll be able to turn out superb meals and be the envy of all your friends. It'll make your husband positively rave about your cooking. He will? Yes. And that's exactly the model that I want. Good. Say, I I'd like to make my husband a barbecue dinner as soon as possible. Uh, could it be built by Friday? Friday? Oh, no, that's impossible. This is our busy season. You'll have to wait two months. Two months? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm afraid I'll have to try another company. Well, they're all busy at this time of the year. I advise you to wait two months for us because we guarantee our barbecues forever. Forever? I tell you what. Why don't you build it for me now, and I'll let you take two months off the guarantee. <laughs> what a nervous man. Boy, Joni, you've been all day cooking this dinner for Brad. Personally, I don't think any man is worth all that trouble. Well, Brad isn't any man. He's my man. And if he's going to get indigestion, I'll give it to him, not Helen. <laughs> I thought it was barbecue he's so crazy about. Well, I had to give up the idea of barbecue. Two months to build. But I made everything that Brad likes. Look, Hungarian goulash, cream fin and hattie, turtle soup, Waldorf salad, prune whip eclairs. Boy, when Brad eats this dinner, he won't want to remember Helen and her barbecue. If Brad eats this dinner, he'll be lucky if he can remember anything. Oh. <laughs> I hear him, I hear him. Here he comes. Take my apron for me, will you? Okay. Thank goodness I'm going out for dinner. Hello, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hello. Hello, darling. Am I ever glad to see you. Well, honey, I've only been gone six hours. Say, what's this? We, we, we having company for dinner? No, honey, just you and me alone, like when we were first married. Oh, yes, dear, I remember. Look, dear. Oh, turtle soup. Cream fin and hattie. Oh, Hungarian goulash. Uh-huh, you see, everything I used to make for you on Oak Street in Chicago. Oh, yes, the first year we were married. All right, dear, we're, uh, we're back on Oak Street. Dad. <laughs> You forgot something you used to do on Oak Street. Oh, yes, darling. Uh, there we are. Here we are, my dear. Thank you, Ducky Daddles. Well, that part of the first year we can forget. <laughs> well, I'll get it. Hello, Joan. Huh? Helen Cavanaugh. Oh, well, really, Helen, I uh, don't... Oh, Helen, Helen, uh, come in. Uh, uh, come in. Oh, say, uh, uh, did I tell you how much we enjoyed your dinner last night? Again and again. Uh, that's all right. I don't mind hearing it. I know. <laughs> Guess what I have here? Oh, Helen, don't tell me. Yes. I had some barbecued ribs left over, and you enjoyed them so much, I thought I'd bring them over. Helen, you're an angel. <laughs> Just in time for dinner. That does it. <laughs> What's the matter with Joan? Oh, oh well, well uh, she was uh, uh, cooking something, you see, and she had to take it off the range. Uh, you keep the range in the bedroom now? <laughs> it's not even, you know, it's practical. But... Well, tell Joan how will call it tomorrow. Yes, Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Helen. He's the range. Brad, if you take one bite of that, I'm leaving you. Oh, Joan, be reasonable. I mean it. Well, you can't be serious. You'd leave me for just one bite? One bite. Joni, you're bluffing. You'll see.
never be able to build this barbecue. Oh, yeah, there's always someone who tells you a thing can't be done. It's happened to all great people. Well, they laughed at Edison. They laughed at Marconi. They laughed at the Wright brothers. Well, let me tell you something. One of these days, they'll be laughing at me. <laughs> I'll show that Brad that I can barbecue as well as Helen Cavanaugh. Uh, read the directions to me, will you, dear? Okay. First, cementing the mortar. For best results in cementing the bricks together, the mortar should be mixed in the following proportions. Okay, you list them, I'll mix them. Three parts gravel. Three parts gravel, huh? Three parts gravel. Oh boy, this stuff weighs a ton. We break for lunch now. Lunch? Oh, I was only kidding, honey. We're gonna keep going till we get this thing finished. Three parts gravel, huh? Mud. Honey, what's the matter? Too much slack in my sick reliac. Why don't you wait the two months and let the barbecue companies build this thing? Nothing doing. I know it's a lot of work, honey, but just think. One day soon, I'll be making my first barbecue dinner, and Brad will take a big plate full of the meat I've prepared with my special barbecue sauce, and he'll gaze at me fondly and say, This is the worst-looking mess I ever saw. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Brad. We just started to work on the barbecue. Look, will you take my advice and forget it? Forget it? Believe me, you're just going to make a mess out of it. Now, how can you say that, dear? I'm very handy at this sort of thing. Well, don't you remember the time that the plaster fell out of our bedroom ceiling? Well, it was I who put that big patch up there. Remember? How can I forget? It was my head your big patch fell on, remember? <laughs> now, honey, will you take this stuff back to the builders and let's wait for an expert to do this? Oh. No, Junie, I insist. Well, okay, honey, if that's the way you feel about it. Well, I do, and any time that we want barbecued food, I'm sure that Helen Cavanaugh will ask us over. That's all, brother. Now, wait a minute, Jody. You have to admit that Helen has a natural talent for barbecuing. Yeah, she is sort of a meathead at that. <laughs> honey, honey, why don't you stop kidding yourself? You'll never get this barbecue finished. Brad, not only will you eat those words, but you'll eat them barbecued. <laughs> and from my barbecue pit tomorrow. Now, Joe. And I insist that you invite Helen Cavanaugh. Oh, Joe. I insist. All right, honey. Hope you can do it. There she is, all finished. And we followed the directions exactly. Mm-hmm. We used the right amount of bricks, and we put them just where the plan said. <laughs> I can't understand it. Yeah, it looks terrible, Joan. Oh, you're telling me. Of course, it doesn't look so bad if you stand like this. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid we'll have to do the whole thing over again. Now, either that or find a butcher who sells tilted hamburgers. <laughs> it's no use, Bev. We gotta start all over again and build a new one. <laughs> well, the Cavanaugh's will be here in a half hour, but we're ready for them. Oh, plans, we won't need you anymore. We sure worked hard, but it was worth it. Didn't it come out great? Uh-huh. You're a doll, you great big handsome barbecue, you. My little... <laughs> Nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh, this is the end. I give up. Oh, Beverly, you can't give up. We got a half hour to put it back together again. It's no use. We have no plans. Honey, we don't need any plans. I've worked on this so long, I've got the whole barbecue in my head. Too bad we can't cook the meal there. Come on, Bev.
Johnny, what is the idea of this? Don't you see, it may attract a plane with a pilot that knows how to build a barbecue. Oh, it's no use, I guess. Now, well, let's tear it down and start over again. Hey, Johnny, we're all out of cement. Well, the cabin laws will be here in 15 minutes. We gotta find something to stick it together. Listen, Bev, go on in the house and find everything that you can that sticks. Everything, dear. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. Band-aids? <laughs> Nail polish? <laughs> Fly paper? <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Airmail stamps? <laughs> Mustard plaster? <laughs> Here we are. Keep cleaning, Bev. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Uncle George left it here when he visited us. Guaranteed to eliminate upper plate wobble. No slip, no slide. Guaranteed. Sounds good. Just what we probably need. Well, doesn't that flour and water look great? What a beautiful barbecue. Wait till Helen Cavanaugh sees this. Yeah, except for one thing. What's that? You can't cook in it. If you light a fire in there, the whole thing will fall apart. I know you can't cook in it, but at least I've got a barbecue to show them. Now, all you have to do is go in and turn on the range. Turn on the... Oh, I get you. Uh, but, but... Don't shake the ground, fragile. <laughs> oh, there you oh, are, darling. Oh, Hello, Hi darling. Hi there, Joan. Hi. Hello, George. Say, this certainly is a beautiful barbecue. It isn't bad. Uh... <laughs> As a touch, hot. Bernie, Bernie, you know. Want to sit down? Oh, yes. Uh, here you are, George. Over, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Here, honey, out there here, all right? Hi, dear. Mm-hmm. Right here. here. You are. You will. Well, the salads are all waiting, and I'll prepare the steaks. Are you sure you don't need any help with the barbecue? Oh, not at all. You just sit right where you are. I'll take care of everything. There. How are these? Mm. Oh, wonderful. Them? Huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Fix them right away. <laughs> that one's on the house. <laughs> Coming along just fine. Strange, I don't see any smoke coming from the barbecue. Smoke? Oh, smoke. Well, I guess I better stir it up a little bit. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, smoking pretty good now, huh? <laughs> Here, hold this. Line of communication. I'll contact you later. <laughs> One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. I read you loud and clear. Stand by. <laughs> well, now, how do we like our steaks? I like mine pretty rare. <laughs> pretty rare. Pretty rare for George. If George likes it rare, that's the way George will get it. Rare before George. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Easy on the garlic. <laughs> Darling, hmm? this salad would have been simply delicious. Too bad I got a rotten tomato. Well, you know what they say, sweets to the sweet. <laughs> Johnny, you better let me uh, keep an eye on the steaks. No, darling, you sit right where you are. I manage yeah. everything. It's odd that I can't smell the steaks cooking. Why, when I barbecue, you can smell that wonderful aroma all over the whole yard. Uh, what was your problem again? 
I said I can't smell the steaks cooking. Oh, can you smell the flour? Yes, I can smell the flour. But what'd you say? I can't smell the steaks cooking. Is that surprising? That smells wonderful. Oh, say, I love that charcoal aroma. Oh, yes, it's all in knowing how. <laughs> say, I like my steak pretty rare. Maybe I can help you get it? Oh, no, George. Stay where you are. I'll get it. awfully tall in the saddle. <laughs> there you are, George. That looks wonderful. May I get my own, please? I like mine cooked a certain way and... No, no, I'm doing the barbecue, and you just tell me how you like it, that's all. Well, I like my meat seared on the outside, rare on the inside, lean in the center, and just a dash of fat on the edges. Do you have any preference to the name of the cow it came from? <laughs> Don't worry. Now, that's seared on the outside, rare on the inside, lean in the center, and just a dash of fat around the edges. Yes. Burn one. <laughs> well, hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Mrs. Stevens. Uh, what a character, likes to walk around on her knees. There you are, dear. Joan, this steak is excellent. Oh, thank you very much, George. <laughs> this is the best barbecued meat I've ever tasted. Bradley, you've eaten my barbecued meat, haven't you? Oh, well, that's good, too, but, but this is just great. That, that charcoal flavor, that woody aroma. Joni, you really did it. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> Yours ought to be along in a second, Helen. <laughs> One of you ordered the honeydew melon. <laughs> Joni, this is the best barbecued meat I've ever eaten. It's mean, certainly the best I've ever had. George. Well, what I mean is... You'll excuse me, I've lost my appetite. Come along, George, I feel a headache coming on. But, dear, the barbecue is delicious. Come along, George. Oh, Helen. <laughs> Come on, Helen. Helen. Don't worry about Helen Cavanaugh, dear. No wonder she's jealous. What a great barbecue. What a difference in cooking. It, it had that, that special tang, you know, that, that certain something. Well, Brad, I, I think I ought to tell you a story, dear. Uh, yes, what is it, dear? Well, it, it's about the, the barbecue, you uh, see. Yes. Uh, well, Beverly and I, uh, we were building barbecue. Uh, uh, just see? a moment, and will you, dear? Yes. And uh, Beverly, uh, another steak, and this time, don't cook it so long. <laughs> what were you saying, dear? Brad, you dog, you knew it all along. <laughs> Brad, you always do this. Oh, honey, what's the matter? Water. Dear? Water? The water? Oh, I'll get some right away. <coughs> I'll get some water for you right away, dear. Uh, because water's the only thing that's good for that when he's coughing. So let's have lots of water for Brad. I'll get some in the kitchen. <laughs> Seen in tonight's cast were Beverly Wills, Adele Jurgens, Charles Williams, and Wallace Chadwell. I Married Joan, starring Joan Davis. I Married Joan.